Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be clipping the hairy beast again and uh, many of you wanted to see the dinosaur main return so I think we're gonna bring back the dinosaur look today. What do you think? Look how long her mane is. I don't think I've ever seen it this long to be honest. Ooh, it's really soft. That's really satisfying. I have been putting this off for weeks, but it desperately needs doing. Her coat is really getting quite thick now. And uh, yeah, it just makes her more comfortable. I'm also gonna kind of talk through just cliffing in general and why I hog her, because in my TikTok video that I did with the dinosaur mane, um, there were complaints about how cruel it was. So I'm gonna talk to you about the benefits of hogging and things like that and of clipping. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and get started because I really don't want to do this. Shall we get you clipped? Huh? Shall we get you clipped out? <laughs> Right. And that's what happens. <laughs> There's a stubborn bit right there. <laughs> go away. Did I just take the rest off? Yeah, we didn't go too far, did we, with the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of hate on TikTok because of this like the last time I did it they're like why would you take a horse's mane off and uh, I was going to talk about some of the benefits of taking the mane off so one of which is as you can see Peppa's mane is really thick so if I did let her grow her mane out in the summer she would get way way too hot for being ridden also for things like sweet itch and stuff like that it helps you get to the skin where the irritation is and you can then let it grow out once you've kind of fixed the problem or it just stops them rubbing their mane out. So in some cases, it is actually kinder to hog the horse. I do it to keep her cool in the summer. And another reason I do it is because when we go out showing, um, heavyweight cobs like her are supposed to be shown hogged. So that is also part of the reason. But as you can see, she is very happy. She's very well loved <laughs> she's not wasting away or anything so this does not harm her in any way um people were kind of talking about how it's fly protection and it is to a degree but the main form of fly protection is actually the tail so the main you know doesn't really serve that much of a purpose and in modern times we have things like fly rugs and fly spray and things like that so there's really nothing to worry about about hogging a horse <laughs> A boost. A boost. Um, that bit's annoying me. Mm. 
Note to self, you can always take more off. You can't put hair back on. I'm we'll just... These bits are really annoying me, and I don't know. If, I don't know if it's because they're a bit longer this time, but I'm just not. I'm not vibing, so I am going to take it off. I'm really sorry, guys. I know you wanted me to keep the dinosaur mane, but it would be coming off in a few weeks for a show anyway. So we'll have to say goodbye to the dinosaur mane. Fully clipped out now, looking very neat and tidy. And yeah, unfortunately, I decided not to keep the dinosaur mane. I'm sorry, guys. I know you wanted to see it return, but I don't know if it just it didn't look right being as big as it was. I think her mane was a little bit longer than the last time I did it. Um, I've still got some bits to tidy up, but I think that's enough for one day. She's been a good girl, haven't you? Yeah, even though clipping isn't your favourite thing in the world. Looking very smart. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!